Hey guys, it's Deer, and we're going to be continuing some of those quests. So, actually, yesterday, I recorded the whole saving Justin thing, and unfortunately, the audio on it turned out horrible. So, here we go again, and um, this is, let's see, which quest? An invitation from the Druids. So, let's see what's going on. We have to talk to... Yeah, we have to talk to Linda. I'm glad you're here, Adrian. We have a lot to talk about. Ooh. I received word from Fripp. He wants us to meet with him at the Secret Stone Circle tomorrow. Did they find Anne? Please tell me they found Anne. I don't know, but it would be a reasonable guess. Ever since Elise's rescue, the druids have been focusing their efforts on locating her. You know what this means. The Soul Riders will be back together at last. They also want Justin to be there. Adrian, considering you're the one who rescued him, perhaps you could ride to Moreland and pick him up. Okay. So I think this is a quest where Justin ends up going missing. Okay. Oh wait. Justin's dad is gone. Now where is Justin? It isn't like the Morelands to disappear like this. Maybe Maya knows where they are. You're looking for Thomas and Justin? You're not the only one. I have no idea where Thomas and Justin are. When I woke up this morning, there was a note from Thomas saying that urgent business came up and he's leaving me in charge while he's away. No mention of how long. Can you believe it? Maybe someone around the stable saw them leave. Ask around. Maybe you should ask Loretta. Justin, even if I did know anything, which I totally don't, why would I tell you? It's obvious he doesn't want to be found. I mean, it would be obvious if I had any idea what you're talking about. Ooh, Loretta's being suspicious. Then you show up, and suddenly Justin disappears, and he comes back totally stressed out. I mean, he's practically goth. Talk about bad influence, Adrian. Why would I possibly trust you? Hmm. Because bobcats stick together? Let's try that one. Ooh, that didn't work. There we go. I was out for a ride at the crack of dawn when I saw Justin's dad gain in a taxi with a suitcase. Of course I was curious. I mean, Justin has only been back for like five minutes. I had to follow them. Totally not a stalker move, so I don't even know. Oops, so I don't even, so don't even say it. <laughs> I can't speak today. Anyway, I followed the cab to the Fort Pinta docks. They got dropped off by the South Hoof Ferry Terminal. That's all I know, Bobcat's honor. I don't know if you were telling the truth or not about just friends, but just look after him, okay? Okay, so two Fort. Okay, let's head over to the ferries and see we can find Justin and his father. <laughs> so close yet so far. Okay. Water is too deep. <laughs> now we have to wait for the ferry. I was so distracted by Instagram I didn't even see the ferry come in. Oh. Well that's depressing. <laughs> we'll have to stand like normal people. Here we go. Okay now we have to find more clues about where they could be. I think they're somewhere on the beach. Oh, I think she's doing the quest too. Oh, that's, oh, oops. The tire saved me. I've got this. So I'll just follow this girl. <laughs> Her starter is so cute though. Oh, that's what my sister's starter looks like. And it makes me so jealous because like mine is just this. <laughs> Well, yes, I did see two men leaving the first ferry this morning, but Thomas Moreland wasn't one of them. Could have been a cousin or even a brother, but this gentleman didn't even have a cap. Can you imagine Thomas going out without his cap? I didn't think so. Hmm. They were headed southwest. So let's go to the hermit and see if he saw anything. Hermit is this way, right? Yeah, okay. I haven't been to South Hoof in, like, weeks. Here we go. I think I can get onto the roof in the noun. It's easier than going all the way around. There's the roof. There it is. How did you... Oh, my cap. Thanks for bringing it back. Oh! Thomas Morland's here! It must have created quite a mess back at the stables. It's just, with all that's been going on with Justin, I wanted to get him away for a while. We need space to think. Nothing to apologize for, Tommy. Family comes first. You know the shape my Justin was when you brought him back from his troubles? He was shaken in body and spirit. Anyone could tell he needed time to recover. Mm-hmm. Fresh salt air will do the boy good. I've had a bad feeling ever since he got back, and I've been seeing things, too. I could swear there's a squirrel with big eyes that's been spying on us. I must sound crazy. I wonder what squirrel that could be. <laughs> there's Justin. He's looking very gloomy. Justin's not doing too good. Is this a new horse over here? Oh my god, it's so cute. I never even noticed that there was a new one. I still need to get a bunch of the um, originals, because I only have one, and they're so adorable. I need, like, 20 of them. Oh, this is so cute! Oh, that was adorable! Oh my gosh. Is, um, Justin gonna adopt one of the wild horses <laughs> that Hermit has? That would be great. That would honestly be, like, my favorite thing. Oh! Oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to Loretta. 
You know, Laura's like, she seems really mean, but I think she's like really sweet on the inside and just really insecure and probably needs a hug. Oh, <laughs> I hope we have a quest one day where you get to like know the real Loretta if there is something like underneath that hard exterior and you become friends with her and like everything's you know all good have we had a quest like that I don't think so because she's still like really mean a lot so I mean not as mean as when we first meet her when we're all newbies in Moreland <laughs> and Moreland is the only area we have unlocked oh the fairy's here oh no I have to hurry <laughs> I think it just got here, so we're good. Okay, let's talk to Loretta. Hopefully she's not too sad. Okay, now we have to go all the way to Valadale. Valadale? Valadale? I don't know how to speak English, honestly. Oh, she missed the turn. I can't say how many times I've done that though, so let's get this show on the road. There we go. For some reason I keep like being pushed out of the trailer. Welcome, Adrian. What news do you bring of Justin Moreland? Okay. Just in time. Here comes- oh! You didn't have to wait a day. I'm shocked. <laughs> Here comes the father with his prodigal- prod- prodigal? Pro I can't- oh my gosh. Whatever, son. <laughs> Not even gonna try. Ooh. Did something happen between Thomas and Elizabeth? Elizabeth is honestly so pretty. I wish you could get her hair in game. Rylodale is honestly one of the- oops. There goes my phone. Valdale is honestly one of the prettiest places in the game. Like, really. Here we go. Time and space merges. Everything is calm, always in motion. Okay. Let's. Ooh. Gotta talk to Fripp. Thank you, Adrian, for bringing Justin here. You're welcome. <laughs> Justin Moreland. By order of the Keepers of Aideen, I place you under arrest. Whoa. They tricked him. Thank you for bringing us the fugitive? Oh no. Oh, why am I arguing with a talking squirrel? Oh snap. This offense will also be noted in your sensiting. Now, now, Fripp, we do not know the extent of his guilt. He might not even be imprisoned. Prison? Adrian, what's going on? I thought you said these people would help me. And help you we shall, if we can establish that you were not acting of your own violation when you allied with the agents of Garnock. Now I must insist that you come with me. Adrian, Alex, they can't do this, can they? Oh my gosh. That's horrible. I actually feel really bad for him. Until we know Justin is free from Garnock's influences, we must assume he is a threat. From the look on your faces, I see you don't agree with our decision about Justin. Garnock is moving. His influence can be felt all over Jorvik. The stakes are too high to leave a wild card like Justin at large. Why are you talking about him like he's a criminal? Justin is a good person. He can't help that his grandfather tricked him. Set him free at once. Your judgment is clouded. Justin may not have known the whole truth, but he joined his grandfather of his own violation. This is not a game, Soul Riders. The druids will render their own verdict. If he is innocent, Justin will be set free. If he is found guilty, he will be punished. This is Aideen's will. You know, there comes a point where they become no better than, like, Dark Core or something. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed us. I mean, condemning Justin? Like, were we really saving him? I mean, it's up for debate, <laughs> but I decided to make this video into two parts and stay tuned for our adventure into Pandoria and saving Anne. Till next time. Bye.